Hey everyone, Josh here with Fresh Start Customs and today I'm going to be explaining Kerf and how you can find it for your material and however you would like to design with it. This is how I go ahead and find it for mine and how I design. Um, so feel free to use this or use a different way which I'll try to explain to the best of my ability as well. So as you can see here, I, this is the design that I made in the design program of my choice which is Illustrator. You could use Inkscape or any other uh, program that you want but everything that I'm going to refer to is in Illustrator. So as you can see I made this design the inside uh, slot here is going to be 0 0.737 um, this is going to be adjusted for curve um, and I'll explain how I got that here in just a second and the piece that's going to be going inside that is 0 0.75 inches um, and then the outside piece all the way around um, on each edge is 1.25 inches and I'll get to that why that's important here in just a second. Um, as you can see, we're going to take this design here, we're going to send it to the laser and then the laser is going to cut it out. Um, hopefully you can see this on camera, but the black um, inline of this red part here is going to be the design that you imported and the red uh, is the laser beam itself. As you can see, the laser beam is wider than the actual line that you inputted into the laser and that's going to cause like a lot of wiggle room and that's going to be what's considered your curve and we'll explain that a little bit more in depth down here. So this is the side view. So for example, let's say my finger is the laser here and it's cutting the side of this um, design out here. This is the side as it's cutting. As you can see, the uh, black line is still your design input that the laser is telling it to cut. That's why it's in the center of this laser beam here. Uh, hopefully you can see that on camera. I'm doing the best that I can with what I have here. And the uh, laser is going to be the red parts on both sides. And as you can see, it's tapering off based on the focus height of your laser. That's why autofocus on the Glowforge is super important or focus height of other lasers are super important. Um, and then it tapers off from the top to the bottom point. Um, that way it knows where to cut to minimize on like uh, back flash from the bottom of your laser. And then as you can see, I said kerf of one side. So essentially this is going to be one side of that laser beam that is cutting out. Because essentially when your laser is cutting out on the inside path here, um, just the part that's thrown away is what's going to be important here. But then you have to factor in the outside path of the opposite piece that's going to fit into it. So the reason why I only said one side here is it's important um, if you want to design different than what I do. I usually take um, the path of one side and double it. That's what I did down here to uh, then just subtract that from the overall uh, design itself. But if you wanted to, you could um, use just one side of the curve on both the inside edge here and the outside edge, and it essentially does the same thing. I just like to save one extra step in there. So you're probably wondering how what all these numbers down here mean. I'm going to explain that. What that is, is um, you can do a, a real quick easy test to find your curve. You'll just print off like a simple square for example. I'm just going to use the base of this. Um, the design itself was 1.25 inches but after the laser cut out it's going to have the difference on that outside edge of the one side that I was explaining um, which would be the curve of one side. So you're going to use this digital caliper that I talked about in the previous video. If you need to go check out the previous video feel free. Um, and you can get one from there. Um, as you can see, I'm just starting off with uh, zero inches and I'm going to expand this and we're going to measure out the, th the thickness of this um, design here. So once you do that, it's about 1.244 or if you go a little bit tighter, it's 1.243 inches. Um, so I just split the difference and added a five, um, just did half of the, the bigger of the two. And that's where I, I came up with um, 1.2435 inches. I subtract that from the original design up here. And that's how I came up with the, uh, the one side of the curve, which is 0 0.0065. And then all I did with that is I doubled it so you get 0 0.013. Um, 
because I like to design with it doubled up so it's easier. And then all I did was take the um, actual part that's gonna be falling in and then I make my um, slot minus that kerf of both of them doubled, um, which is that 0 0.013 and that's how I came up with that slot size. Um, as you can see, this is um, this design and I've adjusted for all the kerf and it's super tight. I could not pull this apart if I really wanted to. I'm pulling really hard. So that is the power of kerf and uh, hopefully that explains how to uh, find it there for you guys in the shortest way possible. If you guys need a more in-depth video on Curve and how to adjust or edit for it, I have that video link below.